Good evening. You're watching a very special interview on NDTV Profit. A journey that began with liqueurs has over the last 34 years been a transformational one. Pernod Ricard, known as much as for its global brands as for its acquisitions, has been present in India for quite some time now and its past has been a checkered one. But what's in store and who better to talk about it than Pierre Pringue, the CEO, Group Pernod Ricard. Pierre, good evening. Good evening. Thank you for talking to NDTV. So for you, how important is markets like India and China and the other Asian markets? Or, or do revenues still come predominantly from France and from, you know, from Europe? Well, first of all, Pernod Ricard is truly a global mm. group. And for instance, France represents only 10% of our business. But I would say that the top five countries, without any order, of course there is France, there is the US, there is Spain, but there is China and India. And I don't give any order. So Ch India today is already among the top five countries mm. of Panorama. Mm. car. In India, mo most of the analysts say you know, the market's growing on both ends. There is an aspirational element to it, but there is also a bottom of the pyramid. And until and unless you're present in both, it's very tough. Would you agree? Um, I would say that part of Pernod Ricard's strategy since the beginning always been to combine local brands and international brands. The reason for that is that, first of all, it gives you the critical mass right. to have you, your own sales force. And I should insist upon the fact that Pernod Ricard's strategy always has been to have our own sales force in any major market, mm. India being no exception. Mm. Unlike your peers, uh, you know, you, you continue to remain invested in India. You didn't leave the country, then again, uh, try to come back. Uh, w what was the message there? That it, it pays to be patient or you, or you could see, you know, sitting in the office in Delhi, perhaps in the early 90s, that, you know, we're talking about a long haul. We're talking about a journey that's 10 years, 20 years, and then the growth picks up. Well, first of all, India being such a promising market, I think it would be totally stupid to leave the country. Hmm. And, but you're right. We always have adopted the long-term view, and particularly in the spirit business. Hmm. You need to really think in the development for your brands in decades. It's not a question of a couple of weeks or months. Hmm. Hmm. But your journey so far, according to many of your critics, you started with a bang. You changed the whiskey market with some great brands, Pricing was a huge weapon that you had, and that completely changed the dynamics. Royal Stag, I remember, was a path breaker. But then some people would say you plateaued out. You just focused on one category, and that's it. Was that a conscious move? Well, first of all, India is a whiskey market. That's the taste. I mean, people have a preference for brown spirits. Mm. It's a fact. Definitely Royal Stag, and I should have also Blender Sprite and Imperial Blue, First, what do they offer? First of all, quality, quality product to the consumer. And second, the adequate marketing strategy. And I would pay tribute to the team which we have in Penricar, India. They are very, very skilled people. Hmm. So you waited for some kind of a global acquisition before you bought, you know, uh, brought the vodka portfolio in? Because, you know, when you came to India, you know, I'm not just talking about absolute. The, some of the acquisitions had already happened or were in the process of happening. So you had a whole range of brands available. Why just stick to whiskey? Is it just because India's a whiskey market and you wanted to, some people would say, play it safe? Well, I would certainly agree on the fact that whiskey remains the main category. But at the same time, we do have a strategy for white spirits as well. We have a local brand fuel. But at the same time, we also develop uh, Absolute. And again, you can see this dual strategy, strategy with local and international brand. And I should not forget our recent development with Havana Club, mm. our Cuban rum, which we bottled in India because of the duties, so to have it more affordable. And I think it's definitely a drink which has appealed to younger people. 